So I've been using this hitch for a few days now and I really like it. I think we're going to call it the innovation hitch. And um, the previous video I showed how to tie it and such, but uh, I've got about nine different uh, types of cordage I'm going to use with it today. Uh, when I sell the hitchhiker it comes with a boa and a viper and I've been uh, using those exclusively for the last little while. But uh, it's only fair to try it on a number of different products. So on each one of these ascents, what I'm going to do is I tied my tied dressed and set my hitch. I'm going to hop up on it, sit back on it, make sure that it grabs. I'll descend to the ground, and then I'll go to the top of the uh, 90 foot, well it's about 96 uh, feet is where my primary support point is. And then I'll descend back on this straight to the ground and see how it responds, how it feels, and what I need to do to make it tend when I get to the ground. That, whoa, and it's hot. Good thing this is not hot. This is bloody hot. And see how it tends. I haven't messed with the cord. It tends pretty well. Could probably be opened up just a little bit if I was going to do a limb walk. Colored, but other than that, and this hitch has been used a few times. Just colored a little bit, but other than that, looks great. All right, we'll try the next one. IT, I think this is EpiCord, and I've tied, dressed, and set it. Whoops, break a little limb on my shag bark hickory. All right, this is Armor Pruce. I think it's eight millimeter. looking at the hitch there's discoloration there's a little discoloration there I think that's where it takes that crossover and more more discoloration discoloration more discoloration and that's about it and the hitchhiker is way too hot to hold so we've tied the, this is uh, I believe 10 millimeter ocean. All right, this is beeline.
right, the beeline, the beeline tends really well without having to open it up. It set really well. Uh, beeline felt pretty good. And we put, took a pretty good descent right there at the end. And on the beeline, discoloration, discoloration along there, you can feel it. Maybe just a little bit of glaze right there. Feels like a little bit of glaze at the very top. Hard to tell. Might just be that it. Yeah, I think it's just packed down. But all right, this is eight millimeter B line. I Little tight. And that packs down a little more at the top. So that's a little harder to open up. Discoloration all the way up to the wraps. Then there's a blank spot. Then there's a bit of discoloration up where we do the crossovers. And then nothing there. This is eight millimeter HRC and I've done it with my one two three four basically five times and then six and seven with the double with the crossover Feels a little tight now that I'm at the bottom. I'll open that up just a sec. Tends really well now. Even after you open that up, you can sit back on that with all kinds of confidence. All right, so there you can see, especially on this white HRC. You can see the discoloration there where it came down and I didn't do a bomb there at the end and more discoloration there so from here to here is a pretty consistent discoloration then you skip and go to there where there's more discoloration this is a 9.3 millimeter viper One, two, three, four, five. Then we go under six, under again for seven. Tie, dress, and set. Check that. This is what nine times up this tree today. Plus, I did some started a removal. Bit of climbing today.
spins well. I haven't adjusted the hitch. And that really, that opens up nicely. I think Viper, I don't know. Well, I'm partial now because I like that Viper. Pushing all down there, all the way there. It stops, starts again. That discoloration doesn't look any different than the rest of the discoloration all the way down on the longer part. Now I never did any bombing down out of the tree on that one and there's there's no glazing. Um, you fluff it back up and there's no there's no flat on it or anything so that's pretty good. Anyway. There's the lineup with the exception of the boa. I did the boa a couple times, so now in conclusion, which is best? Well, it all depends on the weight of the climber and the kind of the climbing line you're on. I'm climbing on Vega. It's a polyester. So, and it's a double braid. You might be climbing on anything else. So, I can't tell you. I do like the I do like the Viper though. It comes with the Viper. The uh, all the other ones are pretty good. The, the B line seemed like that, but was a good performer. And the um, that R I T. That seemed that seemed pretty nice too, but again, that's that's for me. That's today. That's my weight. That's on my climbing line.